It's done. Yes, Mr. Proto. It's over now. Now that Barbenheimer madness is over, we can talk about groundbreaking movies that don't quite have the $2 million budget to get the word around. At heart, I prefer small stories made on the big screen, and usually these stories are made by independents. In my yearly tradition of going to Sundance and seeing like 20 movies every year, I've missed two amazing films from Sundance that I have now watched. Talk To Me, which was an Australian horror movie, which I loved. Let me know if you want a video on that. But this second film, Past Lives, was a stellar movie and I found a way to miss it at Sundance. I've done Sundance three straight years and I missed Minari, Zola, Coda, and Past Lives. It has been buzzing since the festival ended. I wasn't sure if people were overhyping this post everything everywhere as festival movies get overhyped more often than not. I'm happy to say this film is getting adequate praise. Short plot synopsis, childhood sweethearts reconnect over Skype after 12 years apart, the woman immigrated and the man stayed in Korea. They simply can't get their schedules to line up and call it quits. 12 more years go on and the woman is married to an American Jewish writer, and the man is recently single and visits her and the husband. Celine Song has crafted such a genuine and warm and emotional debut. I don't understand how some people make movies for the first time and they come out like this. I understand the people running most of the technicals are most likely veterans, but the cinematography is not only beautiful but tells a part in the story, alongside with the editing which is used so sparingly, but when used for impact, creates and elicits emotion from the audience. This is not a showy film by any means and it adds to the film's overall charm. I really love movies like this. Very small scale story, there are essentially three characters to the story. It flows with excellent pace and is a pretty short film tackling lots of human complexities. Characters are written beautifully with so many authentic and human characteristics. All their decisions may not make sense and may anger you, but you understand where they are coming from. It's a modern take on the romance genre and we haven't really seen a story told in this exact way. We have seen reconnections, but we haven't seen reconnections facilitated by Skype and Facebook. Facebook. It has never been this easy to reconnect with someone and just jump on a plane and go. There's nothing super complex going on within this film, it's just so human-like. This film is downright depressing, tackles immense regret and what-if-ism, and it's just so warm and real. The performances from the three leads are absolutely stellar. The writing is the best part of the film. They could have written that American dude so poorly. Like, come on, white dude that plays video games that falls in love with a Korean and loves Korean food? You all know the type. And the way this guy is portrayed is just as an honest, loving husband that fell in love. Everyone has a bit of a heartbreaking scene, especially towards the final act of this film after the dinner and drinks. The line that hit me the most during the film was delivered by the man. I never thought liking your husband would hurt this much. You just want to give my man a big old hug. I don't have any complaints when it comes to this film. I'm giving it an 8 and I hope it gets some awards as it truly deserves it. I'd be hoping for a Celine Song director nomination as well. She deserved it. <laughs>